Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Cancer. First, we're going to take a look at you and the past person to see the energy between you guys at the moment. Then we'll take a look at you and the current person. After that, I'll do um, Cancer and a new person for singles. I will also pull advice. Then I'm going to pull some random oracles from the tea leaf to let you go ahead and see if that means anything to you. Then I will pull some cards for all signs to see what each sign is thinking of you if if you're dealing with a specific sign and then i'll pull an oracle card at the very end Timestamps could be found in the description box below keep in mind that these are general readings if you're interested in a personal reading go ahead and click on the description box below also for my website information and how to book that with me and we're going to get started with your reading cancer what's going on between you and the past person Cancer and the past person. Well, Lovers and Justice just came out. So we'll see if that has anything to do with the past person or if that's a new person coming in. All right. This is definitely someone you're not speaking to at the moment. There could be conflict between you guys, you and this past person from what I'm seeing. The energy between you guys is the devil crossed by the two of wands. So there's a lot of stagnancy, possibly toxicity, even not talking and maybe not talking. Oh, look at that. I can see myself in the, <laughs> in the phone. Sorry. <laughs> I saw my hair sticking out. I had to fix it. Okay. Like I was saying, uh, Toxicity, possibly not even talking for long periods of time. Hmm. You don't feel, you don't trust this person. I'm seeing you don't trust this person. Ah, uh, this past person seems to want something with you. I'm not really getting that that's what you want necessarily. Uh, I want to clarify because this is very confusing. I am seeing this person being goal oriented, really focused on themselves. They're seeing you as an ace of cups. So that might mean that you have feelings for them or they have feelings for you and it's not reciprocated. Let's see. Let's see. Because you're seeing this person as a tower. So there's something about this person that has like surprised you. Let's clarify this um, nine of wands for cancer, for cancer's energy. Why nine of wands? It seems like, it seems like you're in a better place actually. So you might be keeping to yourself. I feel like you're in a better place than whatever this was. That's what it's showing to be. Like you're, you're becoming more balanced within yourself with the Queen of Cups there. And I feel like the person on your mind could very, very much be on social media, probably even claiming to be very um, confident at the moment, very happy, very... Um, What's the word I'm looking for besides confidence and happy? It's fake. It really does look like somebody who is trying to put up a front to hide like a broken heart. So this person's very much just not keeping to themselves out and about doing different things, making sure they're being seen, but there is heartbreak here. So. Clarify the tower.
Now, I did get four cards. I feel like you really might want to be with this person with that energy. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got to see how they see you because you're seeing them as being toxic also, but there's still truth there. There's still love. There's still attraction, like a lot. That's why I'm like, well, this person is seeing you as holding on to their energy. And to be honest, they're not sure. They're not sure. I don't feel that this person is going to want to give this another chance. The past person that you're dealing with looks like they're moving on to something different, something new. It looks like they're going to meet someone new all of a sudden. It's probably not what you want to hear, but it's showing up that way for a reason. So let's see. Because you have really good energy coming up in the future for yourself too, apart from this person. There's just a lot of unknowns. Okay, that's the thing. The thing is that I feel that this past person is really going to step away from you a lot more than they already have. And I feel like this is something that spirit is doing in your favor. Clarify the moon. You're being asked here to make a decision, make a decision on what it is that you want. If this person is not giving you what you want, it's a thing of, of recognizing that. Um, or if vice versa, or if you're not able to give this person what they want, um, I see this person moving away. Not necessarily moving away. Maybe they are moving away physically, like moving households. Who knows? You would know that. But I just see a moving away energy, like taking their energy back type of thing. Any advice for this? I also feel that you might be thinking about what you want here because you're being asked to make a decision. It might not always be up to this person. I feel like it is up to you. You know, you, you just can't sit around and wait for this person. Your advice is to leave this behind. You have something a lot better coming for you in the future, which is what, exactly what I was getting for you anyways. The hangman, the five of cups, and the ace of pentacles as your advice is showing me a decision needing to be made for something more stable to come into your life. Definitely. But it's a decision that you need to make even though you don't know a lot of things coming up. So I fear, I fear, I feel that fear is one of the things that might be holding you back from making this decision. And the reason I say that is because it's showing me the king of swords being at the end of that. And it, when I say fear, as far as the king of swords showing up, this king of swords knows what they want, but this is clarifying the moon. So there is fear there that might keep you from what you want. And I'm seeing you making the decision to do what's best for you. That's going to be whenever you feel it's time to do that. With the moon being there, it's going to be whenever you're ready. So that's what I have for you in the past person. We're going to take a look at cancer and the current person. If you're dealing with a current person, give me a second. to get all my cards out the way.
I always put my cards back in a certain way so that I don't have to do this huge pre-shuffle because my pre-shuffle is pretty big before I turn on the, the camera. But um, yeah, this helps me eliminate that. Not the pre-shuffle completely, but a lot of steps in it. So let's see. What's going on with cancer and the current person? What's the energy between cancer and the current person? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing fantastic. Cancer and the current person. I'm seeing distance being an uh, issue here. I feel like you're in a place where you're working a lot. I'm going to shuffle these cards while I read these other cards. I feel like you're in a place where you could be working a lot or helping a lot of people in your circle, whatever that means, friends, family, things like that, you would know. This person on your mind looks very sad. I don't know exactly why. They could be mourning something. They could be um, regretting something. We're going to clarify and see. Energy between you guys is the King of Wands and the Magician. That pretty much tells me that someone here is kind of in their ego. They might be manifesting from their ego. Not sure who or why or how, or but it kind of feels that way to me with that energy. I got to be honest. Now, this person on your mind, they're seeing you as somebody who's not making any moves. Um, kind of just waiting there. And I also see that in your intention. Your intention is not making any moves, possibly waiting to see what's going to happen here. Um, you're seeing this person as having a lot of burden as, you know, being, have, have, going through it. They're going through it. They're going through it. Whether it be burden, whether it be taking on too much responsibilities, whether it, whatever it is, they're going through it. They're not in good energy. They're very sad. Mm, it might not come off that way. It might not come off that way. So I'm going to clarify it. I don't, your intentions here, like I said, is to kind of wait and see what happens. Their intentions is the devil. I'm not sure if that's bad or if that's very highly sexual. So we're going to take a look in a minute. Um, your actions here, I kind of feel like you're going to be in a very steady place. You could be focusing a lot on your finances, on your home life, on things that matter to you, things that make you feel stable. And this person is showing up as the empress in their actions. So we're going to clarify that to see because that's very intense energy because they show up as the devil and the empress. So let's see. Clarify the six of pentacles. I feel like you could be in a place where you're, like I said, you're good with your money. You're helping people out. You're spending time with friends, with family. You're going out a lot. You're enjoying your summer. That's the vibe I get from you. You're doing good with money. You're kind of just, you know, just being in a good place, being financially, financially stable there. And this person is coming up like distraught.
could be that you guys had some kind of some kind of a falling out or something like that because this person is very worried about the relationship not really sure what happened because it's not showing me but it's showing me sadness on their part it's showing me worried it's showing me um regret it's showing me a lot of regret so i'm not really sure what this person did or if they even feel regretful but it looks like it let me see the ten of wands It's like a standoff here. You're seeing them as you're seeing them as being somebody who maybe they're an overthinker with that energy, the devil and the queen of swords and the queen of cups. So you're seeing them as very contradictory. You're seeing them as very contradictory. One day they want one thing, another day they want another thing, and it's very wishy-washy, and it's very all over the place. And I feel like you have a lot to offer, and this person might be like not sure or on the fence about what they really want. Could be that this you, you and this person are not really communicating. They're seeing you as being somebody who's not really talking to them right now. You could have found something out. Kind of seeing you finding something out and not wanting to communicate with this person because that's what they're showing me. I feel like you want to kind of step away from this connection for a minute. I feel like you're looking at what it is that you've invested in this and, and you're kind of stuck because that's what it's clarifying. It's clarifying you really looking at the invest at the investment in this and and feeling kind of stuck, stuck in your head, stuck in your actions, not really pursuing this the way you know you can. Now, for intentions, this person might have a habit of arguing with you or mm, arguing with you. Again, I'm going to say it. It looks like there could be an argument here. Um, I feel like this person wants to pick at you. And that's crazy because they weren't showing me that earlier. Earlier, they were showing me like all this sadness. But now I'm getting this kind of energy of maybe shift blaming to you, whatever that means. Why? I feel like this person communicates a certain way, and they always do that. And so this is something you're already aware of. I am seeing you really, really focusing on your finances, focusing on everything that has to do with you. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of um, unknowns coming up for you. And I see you really like being very courageous and in going into all this unknown energy. So I, I can't even lie. That is beautiful energy that you have. As far as actions. And I feel like you might meet someone new. I got to be honest. If you're dealing with this current person. Hmm. I'm not seeing this person give too much energy. It's, it's such a wishy-washy thing. It's very much that this person's so sad over you. And then they're playing games with you at the same time. So... You're going to have to take that one how it resonates. 
that's very all over the place. Possible outcome. I'm not seeing this person give too much effort towards you, even though they might claim to want to. Not really. And you could be dealing with somebody younger than you. I do see you moving away from this situation eventually. I do. But first, and it, I see it being very slow, a very slow process. And then when you move from this situation that doesn't serve you, you're going to meet someone later on. It doesn't show it being really quick. It shows a pause. And then it shows you really, really needing to step into your power, really, really focusing on your goals and what it is that you want for yourself without another third person there. And then you might meet this person through there, like at work or at school or something that has to do with your goals is what I'm seeing for, for people in a connection. I see you not being in this connection no more and then going towards someone new. So if that's the connection you're in and that's your story, then that's what it is. If not, maybe I'll catch you on the next one if, uh, if that doesn't resonate with you. But that is, that is the reading for you and the person on your mind. And then we're going to go to new, a new person for my singles. Single cancers, who, who's coming in for single cancers? Single cancers. How will cancer know who it is? The intentions and possible outcome for this person with, okay, that came out. Oh, wow. That is nice. Okay. Cancer. You will know who this person is because they're very stable. I feel like they're at a place in their life that they're looking to see what it is that they want to do in the future. Not that what they want to do, like as far as a profession, but more like hobbies, more like fun things. I feel like whatever profession they're in, they're pretty good. Whoever this new person is, their intention is probably not to really date right away. I kind of get the feeling that this person is, is, well, I can't say that they're leaving a situation. It feels like they've left it for a while already, but they're not over it completely. It's showing a lot of healing for this person after a bad relationship, after some kind of a bad breakup where they kind of had to really cut ties. And if this person has kids with this person, it's really difficult to really do that. So but as an outcome, I do get the judgment in the full, which show me that if you're patient with this person, if you get to know this person like friends, this can grow into something really good with the full being there. So that's the outcome energy. So let me see. Let me clarify. How else will you know who this person is? Clarify this, please. I'm getting that this person is very attractive. Um, could be dealing with another Leo or Cancer. I'm feeling like this person is going to be pretty reserved when you meet them. They're not going to put all their cards out on the table. They're going to be a little distant from you, definitely. Definitely. 
clarify the Six of Swords and Four of Swords. Yeah, this person dealt with someone who was very, very toxic. It could have been, it could have been a significant other. It could have been a toxic parent. It could have been anything like that. But I'm seeing this person having a hard time getting over some of the things that they've been through. Therefore, needing, needing things to go slow. Needing things to go slow. This person might spend a lot of time worrying, especially if they have kids with this past person. They do spend a, a good amount of time worrying about, you know, things like that. As far as healing, as far as how they got to deal with this person. Bottom of the deck, Hierophant for Judgment and the Fool. So let's see, clarify this outcome. This has potential if you just take your time with it for a little bit. One more. Now, I am seeing maybe a friend zoning situation. Now, that, now that's not my advice. I am, I am saying that if someone is detached and cold, which is probably this person, they're going to be like detached and stuff. Friendship is a great way to go. Don't take that as this person not being interested, but see it for what it is. This person's not ready. And if you honestly are interested in this person, it'd be a good idea to start off as friends without any expectations of it working out because whatever it is that this person's going through, it's going to take a while. And if you set your expectations to it working out for sure and it doesn't, you're going to be heartbroken. Only you, not this person, because they didn't set their expectations like that. You did. So if you want to see where this goes or even just make a friend, go ahead and entertain the friendship as a friendship. And I feel like this person will learn to trust you and open up with you. And that could be a thing. And if not, you'll end up having a really good friend because this person does have a lot of stable energy. And that's all up to you on how you, how you do this. So that's a new person coming in. I feel like this is a really good person for you. However, they're not ready. So that's what I'm getting. Now we're going to go to some advice with the Infinity Oracle deck. Any advice for cancer? Okay, you get closure, third party interference, speak your truth, face and confuse, and then self love at the end with new love at the bottom of the deck. And that's telling me that there was a situation in your past that would speak your truth. You might want to speak to this person. You may want to let them know what it is that they did to you because you feel like that might give you some closure. Um, closure, third party interference, speak, speak your truth is telling me you may want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to advise you not to. And the reason I'm going to advise you not to is because Dazed and Confused comes out. And when Dazed and Confused comes out next to some cards like this, what that tells me is that you feel a certain type of way. I'm not saying that you don't have a right to feel a certain type of way. If something happened to you, if someone did something to you, if they hurt you and stuff like that. But whoever this person is, 
they lost your trust already. They did something to you that was very hurtful, very painful. Why would you want to get information or closure from someone who didn't respect your relationship to begin with to bring a third party into it? Third party doesn't have to be cheating. Third party could be their parents talking a lot of crap about you. It could be their friends. It could be anything like that. It doesn't need to be um, that they're sleeping. Sorry, my alarm just went off. Excuse me. <laughs> it doesn't need to be anything like that. It could just be having other people in your business. And the thing is, with Days and Confused, it shows me that you could have had red flags. You could have had a lot of red flags, but you kept giving it chances. That's because you had feelings. Now, whatever this person did, their actions should give you the closure you need. Their actions should show you that what you need is self-love. What you need is to respect yourself enough to know that you don't want this. You don't want this third party. It doesn't suit you. It's not good for you. And if you're in a place where you don't mind sharing, that this isn't your reading. Because this is someone who needs to realize that whatever didn't work out in the past was for their greater good. And talking to that person that betrayed you, uh, threw away your trust. You're not going to get closure from someone like that. You're not. You need to give yourself the closure. You need to look at the red flags that you decided to ignore. Okay? You need to be strong about that. Ask yourself why you ignored those red flags. And how do you stop doing that? How do you honor yourself? How do you choose yourself over red flags in the future? Is that, that's what that, that is telling me. That is what that is telling me. And then you love at the bottom. So that's your advice. And now I'm going to pull some tea leaf oracles to get some random cards for you. I'm not going to clarify these necessarily unless I feel called to do it. But I am going to go ahead and let, you know, if this makes sense to you, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I know I have uh, some readers who watch me. All right, let's go. We get three cards. I split the deck in two. So I'm getting three cards from this half a deck and three cards from the other. Pale, time to get out of a situation. Target, a goal-oriented person. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Mountain, major challenge to overcome. Three cards. Bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that one. We'll take that one. Pin, new job or career. All right, so those are your random oracles. You go ahead and see if those resonate, and if they do, go ahead and drop a comment. So now we're going to do all signs. We're going to take a look at Aries through Pisces to see if you're dealing with an Aries, what do they think of you? If you're dealing with a Taurus, what do they think of you? So we're going to start. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I'm sorry, Aries, if you're dealing with an Aries, what do they think of you? My life is not as together as it seems. If you're dealing with the Taurus. I forgive you. If you're dealing with the Gemini.
abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. If you're dealing with a cancer, different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. If you're dealing with a Leo, I love myself enough to walk away. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I left you before you could leave me. If you're dealing with a Libra, awakening, someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, balance, one person is giving too much in this relationship. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Woo. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I can't shuffle, apparently. All right, we're going to take that one. I am becoming a better person. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. If you're dealing with the Pisces, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So that's what I get for all signs. I am going to um, go ahead and get an Oracle card for you at this time. And we'll read that to you to close out your reading. Let me get an oracle message for cancer. Hmm. Butterfingers. When you get raven, shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the element spirits, elemental spirits, and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. And that is your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.